On this video, I'm going to be covering how to grow and go viral on your TikTok account. This account did the same thing and is having thousands of followers. This one did it and is having thousands of followers. This one right here did the same thing and is having thousands of followers. The mistake that small accounts make is not following the precept that I'm going to be sharing with you right now. So stay tuned, don't go anywhere and please watch the video to the end in order not to skip any of these things that I'm going to share with you and for you to go viral on your TikTok videos. Sometimes you might just be wondering, I'm doing all of these things, I'm posting, I'm, I'm creating videos, but yet I'm not having uh, followers on, on my TikTok account, I'm not having a lot of views on my TikTok account, then stay with me. I'm going to explain the reason why you are not having so much followers on your TikTok account. So you can follow the things that I'm going to list up right here in order for you to go viral on your TikTok account. So the first thing for a starter or someone who has actually started TikTok account but yet not growing, the first thing that you need to do as a starter is to pick a niche. Picking a niche differentiates you from other creators out there. All right, it makes your account to be very different and it also makes an impact on your video. All right, what do I mean by what I'm saying right now? When you pick a niche, let's say you are into craft and someone stumble on your videos all right and it comes to your page and everything that is seen on your account is something that has to do with drawings has to do with things that are crafty and stuff like that the person seeing different concept of the same thing on your page will make the person to stay watching your videos all right it makes you you as a creator to be distinguished from other creators so I advise that you pick a particular niche that you are very very confident with that you know that you love in order for you to stay consistent all right so you pick that niche and start making a video about the particular niche that you prefer to work with regardless of the competition out there because what this basically does is that it helps you to also know the particular content of yours that is going viral in order for you to also repost because there is room for you to also repost a video that is going viral and imputes most of the hooks and, and tags that can and different kind of tags to help the video also push and go viral as well this creator here is actually on a particular niche that is working with and you can see thousands of followers and this creator is also uh, focus on a niche and is also having thousands of followers so you can actually pick a niche work with it and you see yourself going viral on your tiktok account that leads me to the second thing having picked a particular niche that you want to work with the next thing that you want to do is to cre create a quality content and when i talk about quality contents it has to do with you it has to do with you because i mean this is your account all right so you want to be yourself and post what you love in order for you to stay consistent. All right, TikTok has actually provided you with lots of effect, lots of things to help you edit your videos, all right, in order for your uh, audience to love it. All right, so what you basically need to do is to be creative, come out with videos that has to do with you. Basically because you don't want to go out there and like, um, begin to copy what people are doing because you actually see that the video is going viral no that's not what you want to do this is your account and you want to start off with this niche so creating a quality video has to do with you you know what i mean you don't have to have the best camera right there you can just have a phone that has a good camera and start working with it using tiktok editing uh, programs that you have available with you and you can see yourself going viral all right so also when i talk about quality content it has to also do with the information that you are passing all right are you trying to entertain your audience are you are you trying to make your account to be teachable do you want to make your account to be something that can make people happy it all depends on what you want your account to look like all right so with that it will help you to understand what your account is all about in order for you to satisfy your audience because basically why you are producing the quality content is to keep people watching your videos quality content also includes a good background a good sound and you have to educate your followers because for them to keep watching your content there must be something that is keeping them it could be educative it could be something that will make them laugh and stuff like that 
creating a quality content will actually create an avenue for you to earn from the creator's fund. Let's say you create a video and the video went viral, all right? Not only will TikTok algorithm start pushing your videos out there, it will also help you to earn from the creator's fund. So you can see creating a quality content will actually earn you a lot on your TikTok. Not only will it affect your growth, it will also help you to make money on your TikTok account. So creating a quality content is very good and it's also advisable. So the next one that I'm going to be talking about for the sake of this video is posting consistently. All right. It's not enough that you are able to create a quality content. But what TikTok algorithm wants to see is to see your consistency. In that way, they can uh, go ahead to um, post and continue to push your videos to a lot of audience for them to watch. All right. Let's say you make a video today and the video went viral and you are not making a video and then you come back probably after a month to come post another video. That's not how your account will grow on your TikTok, right? That's not how to grow your account. So posting consistently, let's say in a week that in a day you want to be posting twice or in a week you want to post like 10 videos. All right. So you, you created that format and you have to stick to it. They want to see your consistency because basically they want people to like continue to stay active on their platform. That is why they are paying you, right? If they must pay you for a particular uh, amount of views that you are having on your videos, they want to see consistency. They want to see good amount of people actively involved on their platform. That way they make money and also pay you for doing that. So when they see a creator that is posting consistently and also making videos that is keeping more people more audience on their platform they get to reward you by pushing your videos out there for more audience all right for wider audience to view and, and it helps you to also grow faster on your tiktok account all right so posting consistently do not relent is one of the things that will actually push you out there in fact it's one of the the most powerful powerful method to move faster all right so while you're creating your videos endeavor to always post consistently posting consistently is a key to fast growth because you don't know a video that is going to blow you up all right so that's why there's need for you to actually post consistently now look at this account this account has over 2200 videos all right and he's really having lots of followers he's thriving and having lots of views this account here have over 3000 videos so you see, posting consistently will actually help you to go viral on TikTok. Don't have like 10 videos or 100 videos and you think that is enough. You can't go far with that. So go ahead and produce more videos, more quality contents and keep uploading consistently in order for you to go viral. Most times you look at other accounts on TikTok that is having thousands of followers and you begin to wonder how are they doing it. Like you, you have like 10, 10 videos on your account and you expect to go viral. That's not how it works. Those people that are actually going viral, they have, most of them have like thousands of videos. They have 500 videos. They have, they have 1,000 videos and all of that. And that is why the algorithm is pushing out their video because they are seeing consistency. All right. So you have to follow suit in order for you to go viral. Don't relent in your posting. Be consistent in what you're doing and the result will be really cool. So the next one that I will be talking about is TikTok shoutout where you get to have a bigger account mentioning you in one of their videos. Let's say they are, you, you have an account that has over 100K followers and they get to mention you in one of their videos. If like 10,000 10, followers or 1,000 followers from their account start following you, that's probably a, a rapid growth on your channel, right? So, but how can I get a shout out from a bigger account? Now, basically how to do that is you get involved in their videos, all right? Write comments on their videos when they post, like their videos, view things, all right? When they see that you are active in their account, they can actually mention you in one of their videos. That is probably a shout out to you telling their followers to actually follow you. 
and that is how you get a shout out from them another way you can get a shout out is actually paying them because most of this channel wants you to pay them all right so you go ahead and pay for them to make a shout out for you i mean there's nothing wrong for you to like pay someone to do a shout out for you i mean that's actually why they've created it. your account your creating account on tiktok and and growing is it's basically for you to like make money online right so that's why most people collect money for them to make a shout out for you and which i think is not it's not really a bad idea for you to pay a little money for them to make a shout out for you in order for your own account to also grow as well so you can actually go ahead and pay for them to make a shout out for you and that's how you also grow on your tiktok now remember tiktok has more than 1 billion active users it has the highest social media engagement rate per post so you can actually take your TikTok account to the next level following the method that I'm showing you today. All right. So the next method that I'm going to be sharing with you right now is follow for follow method, right? You think it's not working. It's actually working when you get to follow someone and the person follows you back. All right. It's adding to the growth of your account. So another thing that I have discovered that has hindered TikTok growth and making people not to go viral is not knowing the right time to post. You don't just come up and post videos randomly like that. You should have a specific time to engage your audience. If your audience are actually uh, busy in the morning, then you have to select a time like 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. in order for you to engage your audience. You don't just come up to post um, 6 a.m., all right? You can't get your audience like that. So knowing the right time for you to post will help your video to actually spread all right and another thing that you should not forget is using hashtag correctly the next one is actually um being a gifter on tiktok how do you be become a gifter on tiktok let me show you how this works all right let's say someone comes live and you are joining the live video right when you join and you find out that in that live video you have like 10,000 people that are present all right and you decide to gift the organizer of the live video thousands of people 10,000 people are going to see that you gave that's just a little act of kindness right you just gifted the organizer of that live video and they are going to see it i tell you those people are going to follow you because they have seen that you are actually a gifter on TikTok. A little token can make you to earn a lot of followers on your TikTok account without stress, right? So go ahead and become a gifter on TikTok and watch a rapid growth on your account. Also, identify your target audience and use your hashtag effectively. Target the people that have something to do with your video. You don't go about tagging people anyhow, all right? You should know the people that you need to tag for a specific video, all right? That makes your tagging to be effective, all right? So don't just do things randomly. Follow the steps that I've, I've shown you in order for you to be successful on your TikTok joint. So lastly, participate in TikTok challenges. It could be a dance challenge. It could be a singing challenge, all right? All you basically need to do is to look out for a trending challenge on TikTok and join. That will help you to speed up the growth of your account. All right. So basically, these are the methods that you can apply in order for you to grow faster and go viral on TikTok. If you find value in this video, please like and subscribe to the channel. See you in my next video. Peace.